Hey everyone, Rich Noto here, Florida licensed realtor, Florida licensed home inspector, and Notary Public. So I wanted to show you the hidden menu on this Samsung oven, stove, range top, whatever you want to call it. And I put some of this, I put some of this uh, painter's tape on it because it's just so shiny that the camera like can't even focus on it. So that's just to kind of help to keep down some of the shine. So there's a few features located in the hidden menu that, that is really important, I think. And, you know, it's probably something that you'll want to access. Now, the first feature, and I have the uh, list in front of me, is the temperature adjustment. And with the temperature adjustment, let's just say if you feel like your oven is cooking, um, you know, too hot, you know, it's, uh, burning things, you know, you'll see something that says, you know, cook it at 425 degrees for 10 minutes and you take it out and it's, it's burnt. Um, you know, you could take the temperature and lower it internally so that when you do set the temperature to say 425, it might actually really be cooking at 415 or maybe because the uh, uh, calibration is off a little bit, um, you know, you're actually setting it to the real temperature. So if you do have like an oven thermometer that you could use, it would, it would help. So the oven, of course, is calibrated by Samsung. So the first hidden setting is going to be the temperature adjustment, like I just mentioned. So the next one is going to be the temperature unit, which is going to be either Fahrenheit or Celsius that you could set it to. Number, number three on the list is going to be a 12-hour energy saving, which... If your oven is turned on, it'll automatically turn off after 12 hours. And I think that that's really something that like probably everybody would want to turn on unless you're cooking, you know, 24 hours around the clock. I don't, I don't think anybody's going to cook anything for 12 hours straight, but I don't know. But I think that it is really great because, you know, if you do accidentally leave on your oven or you turn it on and you happen to go out or you go on vacation or something or whatever, you know, it'll turn itself off. Although if you're on vacation, you probably should turn off your oven at the, um, at the circuit breaker panel, that's a good idea, along with shutting off things like your water and stuff like that. It's just, you know, you don't wanna leave that kind of stuff on. So number four is gonna to be to turn the sound on or off. If you wanna turn off the beeping sound, you can. Number five, and this is probably what really made me make this video, and the reason why I was kind of hunting around was because it was kind of, kind of making me um, kind of a little bit crazy, you know, like when you're trying to find that setting, that option, and you just can't. So I wanted to turn off the Wi-Fi on the stove because you can control your oven from your, from your phone with the app. And I, I mean, I personally don't want any type of a stove connected to the internet. I wouldn't want, you know, somebody else potentially being able to turn on my oven, whether it's, you know, um, you know, a hacker or, you know, whoever, maybe, I, you know, I don't know if like a neighbor could access your oven or turn it on or off. I, I just don't know. Um, the other reason why I wanted the Wi-Fi off is because I am cutting back on uh, the Wi-Fi radiation in my house. I did purchase some radiation meters and I've been going around and I've just been cutting back on things that like I don't need. So I wanted to turn it off because I don't need to get, you know, blasted while I'm cooking by, uh, by a stove. <laughs> you know, it's kind of, um, I'm just kind of silly. And uh, the last thing, which isn't really, I guess it's not really an option, but it's to put it into uh, the demo mode. So like if this was going to be like at a store and it was going to be turned on, um, you know, that's, that's the demo mode. So let's get started on this. Okay, so again, I did my best to kind of cut back on all the shine, but you could still see some of it. So that's why the tape is there, just to keep the shine away. So let's get started. The first thing is going to be the temperature adjustment. So you come over here to where it says three seconds, you see that right there? Get my finger out of the way so it can focus. So three seconds, and you hold that down. And when it does that, now you press one. Okay, now you come back over here, you press that to go minus, you press that to go plus. So like say if you wanted to add like 10 degrees, you'd go like this to add 10. Um, or if you want it to minus, so let's just say your oven, let's just say you're cooking at like, um, you know, 425, but you're burning things and you want that 425 to really be like 415. So subtracting 10 from it and then going over to start saves it. Okay. So now my oven, when I set it to 425, it's going to be more like 415. 
415 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so let me come back over here and just put that back to where it was. Now, I don't, I don't really ever use my oven um, because it's, uh, I don't really need it. So I'll go back here and go to one. So you see now it's at minus 10. So let's go press the, um, this thing again, the little, it's a little, it's a little gear icon on it too. Um, yeah, so press that again and now go to zero. And now it should be back to the, to the manufacturer's setting. Okay. So let me do that again just to check it. So hold this down. Go to one. I see it's at zero, so we're good. So you could also go to cancel, off clean, off clear, should I say, just to go back. All right, now the next one, which is number two on the list, we're going to hold this down again. And go to number two. So you see Fahrenheit, F for Fahrenheit, and if you go to two, Celsius. You go to one, you got Fahrenheit. Go to two, you got Celsius, so I want to go to Fahrenheit. Um, you know, what's nice about this is that, you know, I know that some people from other countries that are here in Florida, you know, Celsius is, is what they use. They don't use Fahrenheit, so at least they could just, you know, flip it over easily. Um, okay, so then go to start to save it, and it takes a few seconds, and now it's saved. So I'm just going to do that again, just to make sure I'm still at... Fahrenheit, All right? So go to two. Yep, still at Fahrenheit. So cancel. Okay, so number three is the twelve-hour energy saver setting. So let's. Oh. Okay, so number three. Yeah. So you see, you got twelve-hour, and then if you go to like that, you know, it's off. And 12 hours on because I did turn it on already. So I'm going to go to start and it should save it. And let's do it again to confirm. Hold this down. And go to what was it? That was number three. Yeah, so we're on 12 hours, so we're good. So I'll just cancel that. Okay, next one is going to be the sound. So let's go back here. Oh, not pressing it. Am I pressing it? Okay, so on or off. So on, off. So if we turn it off. No more beeping. Okay, so now the beeping is gone. We gotta go back here and go. Yeah, there we go. On. Um, it seems like it's a little bit buggy. There we go. We're beeping again. So yeah, you know, it does seem like it's a little bit buggy. Um, I don't know if it needs time to process all this or or what, but it does seem like there's some lag or whatever. Um, okay, so that was a sound. So the next one is going to be, let's see, the Wi-Fi on or off. So we'll go here. Ah, let me switch hands. Okay, then we're going to go to five. Oops, that's not it. Okay, now we're gonna to go to number five, and Wi-Fi is off, so we can see that's all, that's on, and that's off, on, off. So I'll turn it on just so you can see it, and then the icon should pop up the little Wi-Fi thing. There it is up in the top.
top right corner, a little Wi-Fi, there you, there you are, little Wi-Fi thing, so let's do that again. And now it's off, so that's it. That's the uh, Samsung range top, stove top, and a lot of home builders do happen to use this. It's called Smart Things, if I didn't mention it. And I hope that you found that very helpful, and have yourselves a great day.